Get in the car, turn the key and instead of the engine start the curses. But then you remember being an inveterate recycler and having thrown an old ATX PC power supply somewhere. Turning it into a powerful 12 volt lead acid car battery charger. Should be a breeze. To obtain an adequate voltage and amperage you simply need to check that the integrated circuit is a TL494 or a KA7500 or equivalent in Sodera. 13,000 ohm resistor, perhaps recycled, between pin 1 and ground, this will bring the no-load voltage to about 14.3 volts capable of delivering about 2.2 amps if connected to a car battery. To turn on the power supply, a bridge must be created between the green cable and a ground. To connect the battery, just change a few connections. If all goes well, there is no excessive sulfation and there are no mechanical problems. After about 24 hours, for a medium-sized car battery, a voltage at the poles of about 13.80 volts will be reached, which is the voltage of a fully charged battery. Recharging must be carried out in places with sufficient ventilation because, especially in the final phase of the charge or during a too rapid charge, the electrolytic dissociation of the water occurs which produces hydrogen and oxygen, which can create an explosive mixture, if the concentration of hydrogen in the air exceeds 4%. I decline any responsibility for any damage to people, animals and things that may occur. To those who want to imitate the procedure illustrated in the video which is for entertainment purposes only. After having disassembled the ATX power supply, I identify the number 1 pin of the integrated circuit on which to solder the resistor. I prepare the electric wire to be connected between resistance and ground. Solder the electric wire to a free mass. I solder the resistor on pin 1 of the IC, being careful. Saldo la resistenza solo pin 1 del circuito integrato, facendo attenzione ad uno spazio. Not to overheat it, even though I am using an unprofessional soldering iron. Here is the 13,000 ohm resistor solder to pin number 1 of the KA7500 chip. I position the ground electric wire in the best possible way. I balance the electrical ground wire to the resistance which essentially will serve to deceive the integrated circuit on the voltages detected. Here is what the circuit looks like when the modification is complete. I reassemble the modified power supply. I connect a modified Molex connector from which the electric wires to connect the battery come out. I make a small jumper between the PS on contact, usually green, and a ground contact com, usually black. I fix the cables.
I turn on the power supply and check the no load output voltage which has gone from 12 volts to 14.29 volts which is the optimal voltage to recharge lead acid batteries. Putting a 55 watt car bulb as a load. I verify that the power supply delivers around 4.5 amps. For convenience, I connect the battery to be recharged to the modified power supply. By means of the car jump leads. I turn on the power supply and check the voltage at the battery poles at the start of charging. The detected voltage is about 13 volts. I check the current flow at the beginning of the charge. The modified power supply delivers approximately 2.3 amps at the start of charging. After 24 hours of recharging the battery reaches the optimal voltage of about 13.80 volts, returning to be fully charged and functioning. Thanks for watching the video so far. I hope I was helpful, if you have. And already, comment share, like and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for the support. Bye.